So the quartz vein looks like it's going through here. Going over that way. So, see all the quartz here? So, it continues in that direction. Not really in this direction. Looks like it's a few meters across. And here's some more of the quartz vein. Looks like the quartz vein goes all over that way. So it's quite a thick quartz vein. Look at this rock. And this is all the quartz vein. Quartz vein still. So we'll... still lots of quartz here. Still got the quartz outcrop, so this this quartz vein is quite thick. And you still got some, but it looks like it's uh, running out here, so it's probably like I don't know, five to ten meters. So, and here we have the actual rock, so I'm not too sure if the quartz vein goes up there or if it actually did come out. So, if the quartz vein has a dip and strike of that, not too sure the direction of the quartz vein. Uh, but obviously it's no longer here and this has all been eroded from up there. Huh? Yeah, it looks like a nice shale. Okay, so this is one of the conglomerates. As you can see it has quartz in a sedimentary matrix. So this would have been in place uh, at the time of deposition. So it's very interesting, you've got quartz veins as well as conglomerates. Here's the actual conglomerate here. Oh, very hard rock. Obviously it breaks very easily once it's eroded. Here's some more of the conglomerate. And I wonder how far the conglomerate goes up into here. It's a large outcrop over there. Oh, it looks pretty eroded though. Obviously this is a large formation of conglomerate. Here's another more. Oh. Right. Ah, spider webs. Okay, here's some more. Lots of quartz in the conglomerate. More of the conglomerate, it's covered in moss. So this must have been pretty much at the top of the abyssal flan uh, for a conglomerate to actually form here. So it's different than the actual dike that um not the dike, the quartz vein that we saw up there which is quite thick.
and now we're getting back down into the actual siltstone. I don't know too much about the geology of this area, but obviously it's quite complex. So you've got quartz veins formed after probably the deposition of the conglomerates and the siltstone. It's been intruded during the mountain building process. But I'm not too sure how old these conglomerates are. If they are formation deposited on top of the Castlemaine group, or if they're actually part of the Castlemaine group. That is very interesting. Lots of quartz. Very strong rock as well. Very hard to break. Obviously this is a large conglomerate formation. And yes, I do take samples home. Because uh, it does help me identify the actual formation as well. As you can see, the conglomerate's still going. Here we go. So this says high energies. So the energy in this part is a lot higher. Um, but obviously, it the actual formation lost energy quite quickly. That's why you get large quartz veins, not too many small ones. So these are probably just broken up after it's been eroded. Uh, so, that is very interesting. I miss this part actually coming up here. And a lot of the quartz that you see on the ground here is from the conglomerate. So why I call it conglomerate is because it looks like there's some rounding. It's been rounding in this actual rock. If it was a brick here, it would all be quite angular. So if you can see it is, you can see it's like quite circular, circular, being rounded by uh, interaction with water. Uh, this would, would have been the coast. So this would have been eroded from a former uh, quartz vein that's had some other material deposited either upstream or lower, yeah, I'd say upstream because it's a lot finer material. And a conglomerate would have been formed close to the actual source of the material but this seems to have been taken just a little bit far. So. No, I don't see any more of the actual conglomerate. But as you can see, there's lots of smaller quartz instead of the large quartz up there. So this is most likely the conglomerate as well. Yeah, there's a gentle hill slope. And this is most likely the source of all the conglomerate that's down near the actual car park. Uh, nice quartz you can see. 